Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. In this video we will focus on the duplicating entities in a 2D sketch. For the purposes of demonstration I will just create a very simple sketch. We'll align it to the front plane and I will just slice it here and I'll create my sketch. So now I will quickly just using the shift will create my arc and will convert it to a circle. For the purposes of demonstration, I will just make this a little bit more complicated, so you can see the um, uh, controls and how it works. I will just trim this to make a more complex shape. So once we have a shape, we may want to duplicate this and in a pattern way. It's not only to be mirrored, but uh, to be um, copied with many multiple instances. For this purpose, we introduced the new tool which is called Duplicate Selected Entities. The way it works, you first of all, you need to pre-select the elements that you need to duplicate and then you press this button. By default, it enters in a mode which is called a linear pattern duplication and it allows you to, it starts uh, to duplicate your entity along the x-axis. What you can control is the spacing, which you can define between the major selection and the duplicated ones, and also you can create multiple instances. Another option that you can do, I'll just leave it to two, is that you can actually use the arrow handle and you can drag, and which automatically will adjust the spacing, and then you can tweak and create the values you want. Another option is that you can flip the direction and it starts um, creating in the opposite way. Also, what we support is a, another direction, so you can define a grid, uh, which by default is the y-axis, and you can create also multiple instances there. I'll make it three, you don't see, I'll just zoom it, and you see that I created this pattern. I will just cancel for now because I want to show you something else and I will create just an arbitrary line somewhere in space and another one which is probably here. So now I will repeat again the same thing, I will just select my group of entities and I will go for duplicate. Now what I can do is actually I can pick the this direction and as you see it uses the direction of the sketch line and I can adjust. The same thing applies into the other direction. By default it's y-axis, but you can just click on the other line and it gives you ability to do this. When you're happy, you just press accept. And as you can see, we reconstruct also the relations between the entities that have been copied. You can always press undo, control Z to go back. Let's take a look at the other option which we have, and it is called circular duplication. By default, it takes the zero origin where it um, rotates um, the object, and you define the number of instances at the angle that needs to be filled. For example, here I can play with five. You can define the number of instances. Also, you can define the angle that needs to be filled for example, 180. To be more obvious, I'll just make many instances so you can see they are rotated. Also, you can flip the way it, it is um, copied. Again, when you're happy, you can press OK. The other option is that you can also pick another center of um, rotation. In this pick mode, you can highlight and go to a point, and if you press pick this point, it will just take this as a center of rotation and it will duplicate these entities. When you are happy, you just press accept. I would like to point that this is not a parametric pattern. I mean that these are individual entities that later you can manipulate individually, you can delete. So in fact, this is not a pattern that it lives as a, and such and you can not modify the parameters of the patterns after that. If you need to do this, you need to recreate again your pattern. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.